It was Christmas morning. I was seven years old. And I had been stalking the Christmas tree for some days now. I remember the biggest gift. I began to rip the paper off. And it was my race train. I got my race train. I got, it was my race train. It was Tonga Toys. It was the one that I had always wanted. How many of you remember a Christmas morning where you got the gift you so desired? Say, I. I. I remember throwing the instructions and all of the trash into the garbage. And then I proceeded to put the race track together, but I did it kind of poorly, I must say. I remember my grandfather saying to me, son, if at first you don't succeed, look in the trash can for the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, and to all of those who have thrown something of value away into the trash can, I remember a remarkable time in my life. I had just signed a letter of intent with the University of Georgia. I was one of the top players in the world. I was riding sky high. I also remember the spiral, down and then out of control after I had gotten to the University of Georgia. I was smoking, drinking. I barely remember going to class. I also remember the day that I was kicked out of school. I walked into my dorm room, I walked into the bathroom, I sat down in the shower, I turned the water on as hot as I could possibly get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I was still fully clothed. I was trying to wash off the disdain of bad decisions. What have I done? I was trying to remove the stench of failure. And then I got up. I walked into my bedroom, I sat on my bed, and I had a dream wall. Small pieces of paper with your dreams, goals, and aspirations on them. The first one I saw, graduated from college, I grabbed it, I bowed it up, and boom, I had just thrown something of value to me into the trash can. The NFL, millions of dollars and all the financial security for my family for generations to come, again, boom, I had thrown something of value to me into the trash can. Now some time had passed. I moved back to Memphis. I remember sitting and talking to my dad, and I could barely look him in his eyes. I said, Pops, I'm broke, and I'm broken. I don't know, and I've thrown away all of my dreams and aspirations. And then he reached out to me, and then he grabbed my hand. I can feel his hand to the day. I love you, Pops. He said to me, he said, trash is not the only thing that comes in cans. He said, success also comes in cans. I could not wrap my mind around what he was saying. I could not align myself with where he was headed. But I listened closer still. He told me a story. He said, there were two men standing at the foothill of a mountain called Keely and Jaro. There's a little girl and her grandpapa playing in the background. The little girl heard the man on the left say to the man on the right, no one has ever climbed this mountain before. It's impossible. Climb this mountain? Me? I, I, I can't. The little girl was intrigued. She inched closer and closer. Then she heard the man on the right say to the man on the left, just because no one has ever climbed this mountain before doesn't mean I can't. You see this mountain is impossible. Break the word down. I see I'm possible. This mountain, climb it? He said, I can. The little girl was intrigued. She ran over to her grandpapa. She said, Papa, Papa, which one is correct? And the age old sage, with his silver locks and his gray cataracts, he kneeled down and he said, Darling, as a man thinketh, so shall he be. He said, Sweetheart, they are both correct. For the man who thinks he cannot, he cannot. Oh, but the man who thinks he can. He came. My dad said, son, success, it comes in cans. He said, I came. You came. He said, we came. And then he introduced me to a gentleman by the name of Les Brown. Les Brown passed a can filled with success to me. I want to pass that can filled with success unto you. He said, I choose not to be a common man. 
I choose to be uncommon if I can. He said, I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dulled by having the state look after me. He said, I want to take the calculated risk to build what to dream to a fellow to succeed. I refuse to live hand to mouth. He said, I prefer the, the challenges of life to its meager existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of the utopia. He said, I will never cower to any master nor bend to any threat. Why not, you may ask? It is my right to stand erect. Before I stand erect, ladies and gentlemen, I must stand. If I'm going to stand, I must believe that I can. How many of you today are going to find success in can? Say I. I. If you are searching for transformation like I was, I submit to you, success, it comes in can. To climb a mountain that seems insurmountable, I can. To overcome any obstacle, you, oh yes, you can. To transform the world through speech, fellow Toastmasters, we, we can. My time is coming.